CataractCoach.com. That's not core texture pulling. How fast can the eye probe damage the Zoner support? Let's show you something that's not the ideal technique. So we've got an anonymous resident who's operating. Let's get through the beginning of the case. I want to show it to you, but we'll do it at 10 times normal speed so it can really be efficient. There's our viscoelastic going in, a little tri-pen blue dye for the capsule. Let's look at that incision. Looks pretty nice. And let's see the rexus. And this resident's done about 100 cases so far. So there's the flipped over flap, getting that rexus done. Nice and round. Wow, that's a beautiful rexus. I give that one an A. Good job. A little hydro dissection coming on here. And let's see the technique. Faco probe going in. Looks like a groove down the middle. And let's see the split of the nucleus. Very nicely done. And looks like, wow, a very good stop and chop technique. That is excellent. That is really quite excellent. Let's, let's see the second half, bringing it up and chopping it and chopping it again. Wow, that was just done quite beautifully. So this is a very talented resident. Congratulations. But as you know, we're still early in the learning curve. We're only 100 cases in. Now, let's watch in normal speed. Here comes the cortex removal. Watch carefully. So removing cortex and then grabbing it there from under the anterior capsule rim. And the key here is watch. The eye probe is going to inwardly grab the capsule, which is stained blue, so you can tell there's the capsule. That's a capsule on the tip. And as it's pulled centrally, look what you keep doing. Breaking one zonial support, and then the next one, and the next one, that's a lot of support. So let go of that. Let's watch it in slow motion. See the blue in the tip, on that white tip of the eye port? That blue is the capsule. And now when you're grabbing that and you're pulling it centrally, you're trying to strip off cortex, that's not cortex. So as you pull it centrally, what's going to happen? Well, you're going to break zonos, and you'll know by the red reflex being really clear in that area. See how clear that red reflex is? Because you're just looking right through to the anterior face. There's the lens capsular bag equator, which has now been brought centrally. So you look like you've got about two clock hours now of zonular loss. So letting go of it and making sure that we're careful now not to do that again. And also you don't want to have more damage or prolapse of vitreous. So keep that AC pressurized. That's a very important point, point here. So take out the rest of the cortex. Let's clean this up. Just stay away from the one area where you know you have zonal loss. And now the question is for about two clock hours of zonal loss in this patient, what should we do? Do you want to put in a capsule tension ring? Do you need to put in a capsule tension ring? What if you don't have a capsule tension ring? Well, I think in this case, it's a very mild degree of zonal loss. And if we can put the IOL in the bag with the haptics pushing out towards that area of zonal loss, it'll help bolster and support that part of the capsule bag. So you want that haptic to be at that portion of the capsule bag equator where you had zonal loss. So there's the last bit of lens material being aspirated out of the eye. It looks pretty clean. I would not go overboard on doing capsule polishing here. Now, instead of just coming out, you want to be very careful. Oh, he's cleaning a port here, it looks like, of the eye probe. But instead of coming out of the eye just like that, uh, you may want to consider putting some viscoelastic in. Because I just don't want, oh, splitting the eye probe. There you go. But you don't want to have prolapse of any of that vitreous. So if you let the AC pressure go to zero and you've got an area of compromised zonal support, that's a big gap around which the vitreous can prolapse. So you got to be very careful with that. And so my preference here is not to let the anterior chamber collapse. But clean up the cortex as much as you can here, but don't go overboard because we don't want to cause further damage. Now, some of that stuff right there, yeah, you definitely got to remove this from the posterior capsule. So nice and gentle with that capsule polishing. Now, do you do a separate mode for capsule polish? Guess what? I do not. I just titrate it with my foot pedal. If you barely step on the foot pedal in position two, you'll get just a bare minimal amount of aspiration. Like driving your car. You don't have to floor the accelerator pedal. You can barely touch it, barely feather it, and the car will just slightly move. So you've got that control. So again, coming out of the eye, not ideal. Looks like the bag has been filled with this elastic now. Now we cut ahead here. Here comes the eye well going inside the capsule bag. Single piece acrylic. You obviously cannot put a single piece acrylic lens in the sulcus, so that's not going to be the case. 
And now look, slight rotation of the lens so that that one haptic is gonna bolster the area of weak Zion or, or Zion or loss. That looks great. And look, a minimal amount of manipulation was done here. So that's a key point as well. You don't have to put the lens in and lose viscoelastic, then try to get it in the bag and then the haptic stuck and then try to re-rotate. You don't want any of that because all that's just gonna make it higher risk for more damage. Once a little damage is done, let's live with that. Let's not have more damage. What's the long-term stability of this case? Excellent, this patient's gonna do beautifully. They're gonna have zero issues for the rest of his or her life and everything else will go as planned. So thanks for watching, nice technique here. And I'm glad the resident recovered. So let's seal this up. Let's get that eye oil back in the bag. Hint, hint. A little bit too much hydration there. And maybe even in this case, I'd say, put in the suture. You know, there's no harm in putting a suture in here. Especially look at the conjunctiva is all chemotic and then swollen. And you just want to make sure that AC doesn't collapse. Because that erects is a little on the big side. I don't want that optic to pop out of the capsule or bag. You don't want any grief here. So yeah, hydrate the incision, maybe even consider the suture.